Look, Advent is a completely new model of law firm um, for the Asia Pacific market. Um, it's a similar model that's been very successful already in the US and UK and essentially it's it's a fresh, more innovative alternative to the, and, and a fixed price alternative to the traditional law firm. So, you know, we offer benefits to both our people, senior commercially focused, experienced lawyers, and our clients. You know, on the people side, we offer our lawyers variety and flexibility that they don't get in the big firms. Uh, and for our clients, we offer a, uh, you know, no compromise on quality, still very top tier people. Uh, a fixed price alternative and the difference, the whole difference in our model is that our lawyers actually work in our clients' premises. Um, so yeah, it really is a new way of looking at law. Oh, I'd say the key, well, the key differentiator would probably be price certainty. So, you know, when we tell a client the cost is going to be X, that's what the cost is. There's no ifs, buts. Uh, and there's no change from that and I think clients love that because it means that general counsel can actually go to the board or the CEO or even manage their own budget and know that at the end of the project or an end of the transaction or the end of a secondment the price is going to be exactly what it, what it you know, was quoted to be. And I suppose from my experience working in big law firms nothing annoys general counsel more than getting a quote for 50000 and at the end of a project getting a bill for 180000 and thinking well how am I going to justify this to management? So it's really the price certainty. Yeah, it can be used, there's two real, um, two real main ways, well actually three, that, that our model can be used. Uh, the first is transactions. So, you know, a company engaging in an M&A transaction, um, you know, or any other type of transaction. Uh, the second is really projects, so that can be you know major pieces of regulatory change running through the investment banks or in any other industry for that for that matter, um, pieces of litigation, uh, or any other project that needs legal input, you know, compliance review or whatever it may be. And the third is really a flexible senior lawyer slash general counsel solution. So that can be used when you know a general counsel is away on maternity leave, or there's a gap in the team. Uh, or even, you know, we're doing work for some small, uh, fast-growing entrepreneurial companies that, to be honest, don't have 12 months worth of need for a senior general counsel, uh, but may need someone to sit in. So I'll give you an example. We just uh, provided a top-tier M&A lawyer to a small little, uh, two little guys actually sitting in Surrey Hills who were selling their business into one of the big private equity firms. And one of our M&A lawyers sat with them for about two months and steered them through that transaction. So, you know, they're never going to hire a full-time general counsel. They also didn't want to pick up the phone, brief one of the top tier firms, not knowing what the end bill would be. We provided them with that sort of adjunct solution. So there's really a range of different ways that we can be used. Yeah, we did. Um, <clears throat> I suppose we had the comfort going into this that We'd obviously done a lot of research and speaking to both the lawyer and client side before we set up. We'd also seen the model work overseas, but as you said before, every market's different. I think the aha moment for us was when we knew we could recruit the quality of people that we wanted to recruit, and then the client work started flowing from that. So, you know, our business is all about people, and it's all about the quality of our people. And my, my view has always been that if you have the right quality of people, uh, the demand will flow. So when we were starting to recruit, that's a new concept, you have to explain it to lawyers, but when we started to get the quality of people we, we did, and I'm talking you know, people who were seasoned partners at Mallisons, Allens, and general counsel from large corporates, I think, yeah, we got the, aha, uh -huh, people, uh, people like what we have to offer. Yeah, I, I, think, um, I think looking back on it, it probably played in our favour. Uh, the reality is that, you know, for any organisation during the GFC, especially one that's a services business dealing with, uh, you know, transactions and flow, there was less transactions and projects around for everyone. That was the reality. On the flip side for us, our model is really about providing clients with cost certainty and greater efficiency. You know, so it's not just about the cost certainty, it's about reducing cost. And on that basis, we found you know, marketing in the GFC 
there weren't too many general counsel that weren't willing to speak to us and hear our story because everyone was pretty cost focused. So I think, you know, on balance it probably played in our favour. I'd like to say it was strategically planned, but it wasn't. <laughs>